But if the intelligent design people are right, God isn't hidden. We may even be able to encounter God through science. But they're not. Irreducible complexity failed to withstand academic scrutiny. The notion of evolution, of the progress of complicated systems from simplistic origins on the basis of randomness governed by selection can be applied in many areas. I contend to you, Mr. Stein, that the knowledge of mankind is itself evolving. Every day, people think of new things. Some of it is logical, some of it not, some of it good, some of it evil. There's so many different types of people, each thinking in different ways, that mankind as a whole can generate just about any idea possible. All the ideas of humanity, those are analogous to mutations. Some ideas are good, some ideas not so much. Academic freedom is the ability to submit ideas to the academic community for peer review. That is analogous to birth. Unless an idea is really stupid, it gets a chance at life. The peer review process itself is natural selection. The ideas are checked to see if they're good or bad. Good ideas keep going, bad ideas die off. Then, the ideas that are left are compared to see which one is better. The best ideas are kept, the rest are swept away. Progress, the accumulation of knowledge, comes from the volume of raw ideas sifted through by peer review. Both freedom and scrutiny are required for progress. By denying the relevance of scrutiny, Mr. Stein, you deny progress itself. The very progress which brings us the medicines and infrastructure which takes care of our infirm. The very same progress that ended the Dark Ages and Inquisitions. The very same progress that gives you the time to pray to your deity instead of working the land. I would like to draw your attention to the academic freedom bills. These bills are a threat to science, a threat to mankind. See, by trying to use science to prove themselves right, creationists pose no threat to science. You see, even if they prove their theories correct using science, it would actually add to the body of knowledge and help us in the long run. Thus far, though, they've been unable to do so. Normally, a person would keep researching, keep at it, but the creationists tried dishonesty. They tried to destroy science, to destroy all of mankind's progress by aiming at its foundation, the educational system. First, thinking there was a weak spot in educational law, they set out to fight in court. That didn't work. Turns out, courts like evidence. As of late, though, they've been aiming at another weak spot, one where evidence is far less valued. Congress. Yes, a veritable flurry of academic freedom bills have been passed as of late. The Santorum Bill makes it legal for teachers to create the false impression that the majority of scientists doubt the theory of evolution. Localized bills have arisen in Alabama, Oklahoma, Maryland, Louisiana, Missouri, Michigan, and South Carolina. I urge you, for the sake of your children, to protest these bills if ever they're passed in your own state. This stuff isn't going to make the academic freedom more free. It's going to dilute it with nonsense garbage. <sighs> to summarize, science class teaches science. Church teaches religion. You want to keep scientists from teaching evolution in church. You got to stop teaching religion in science class. I'm so happy, oh, happy that lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries don't agree. Things that bother you never bother me. Something I want you to hear. Diabetes. People with 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 diabetes. People
with diabetes. Diabetes, diabetes. Diabetes. Well, if you have diabetes, diabetes. Well, if you have diabetes, diabetes. Well, if you have diabetes, diabetes. 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 Diabetes.